Here's everything you need to know about Lucky Girl Syndrome. Welcome to my channel. My name is Nika. I make videos on, you know, I'm still figuring that out, but I'm a yoga teacher. I'm also a graduate student at Columbia University studying psychology and the spirit my body connection. And you know what? I want you to join me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So go ahead and click here if, uh, you know, you're not subscribed. If you're new, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> so in today's video I have the tea and the cup on lucky girl syndrome so get a beverage get comfy let's get right into this lucky girl syndrome tea Oof, the tea is piping hot oh I have to stop laughing at my own jokes honestly one of these days I'm gonna get it together <laughs> But if you're here, you're probably wondering, what is the true tea on this lucky girl syndrome? It's literally everywhere. If you haven't heard of it, do you live under a rock? Or maybe you're just not on TikTok. Honestly, lucky girl syndrome is trending all over the internet, even if you aren't on TikTok. And I just want to break down the entire concept for you guys right here so it's easy peasy bite size and you're informed okay so let's get right into it lucky girl syndrome is the unshakable belief that absolutely everything in the universe is working for your favor so if you are truly a lucky girl you believe that there is no setbacks there's no such thing as rejection absolutely everything that is happening in your life is happening for the greater good this is also known as like manifestation law of attraction the law of assumption all these things kind of wrapped up in this bow but it's now this like new age term to kind of bring it into i guess gen z terminology but this is a ancient principle guys like People have been talking about this for forever and I want to share some of my favorite um, tips to bring, you know, that lucky girl syndrome into your life. So let's get into these tips. Okay, so depending on your background, your religion, your life experiences, this may sound like a load of horseshit. If you have had a lot of struggles in your life and you feel like things just don't go your way. But I am here to tell you that I have literally manifested my dream apartment. I go to my absolute dream university and I truly believe that because I've practiced these tips to be a lucky girl that like I just can't go wrong. Like everything in my life has worked out in my favor and that's just that on that. But I'm so happy to share that it worked for me, so it can also work for you too. So the first tip to start being a lucky girl right now in this moment, and to really manifest your dream life, is to get your dreams out of the ethereal realm and bring them into reality. So you do this by journaling, creating a vision board, maybe you paint or you do something, something to bring your dream, your dream life out of here and into here, the physical plane, right? So if you have no idea how to make a vision board, I actually have a YouTube video, I'll put it here, about how I made my vision board for 2023. In order to make my vision board, I had to get clear on exactly what I wanted this year, what my dream life would look like for 2023, and things of that nature. So once you have a really clear vision on what you're asking the universe for, the more easily it will be able to come into your life, the more easily the universe will be able to give it to you, and the faster you can start living your dreams and being that lucky girl. You have any questions? Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's move on to tip number two. 
Okay, so tip number two is to release negativity. Now, negativity can be a little elusive. It doesn't have to be in the form of another person or um, a negative environment. Sometimes our own worst critic is the one that lives right here inside of our head. So you need to be able to let go of any of that negative self-talk you have. Do you find yourself wondering like, oh, because of my past, I don't think this is gonna happen for me. Or do you find yourself thinking, you know, things like that, being a lucky girl, that just doesn't work out for people who look like me or think like me or people who come from where I come from or people in my family. You have to let that go. Let it go, let it go. Don't worry about it anymore. <laughs> you know, Frozen was truly iconic. It was a moment in time. <laughs> <sighs> I know it's easier said than done. Letting go of like ruminating negative thoughts truly does not happen overnight, but use it as a tool. The key to growing and learning is first awareness of the habit. So when you have find yourself thinking a negative thought, thinking like, oh, this is too hard, I'm gonna give up, or oh, stuff like this doesn't happen to me, or even if you're just replaying a negative thing that happened to you over and over again in your mind, like a breakup, or a rejection, or I don't know, you fill in the blank. Whenever you find yourself thinking about something that you would rather not think about or something that you just don't want to happen again, cut the thought, cut it off, then it, cut the cameras. <laughs> oh, laughing at my own jokes. Once again, once again. But yeah, seriously, cut, cut the thought, like cut it off. Whenever you find yourself in that behavior, notice it and then immediately replace it with one of your manifestations, something that you do wanna happen. And just begin to reorient your mind to help you lean in to that lucky girl syndrome and lean out of negativity. All right, my last and final tip for my aspiring lucky girls out there, trust me, it's possible. Honestly, there is no try, you just do. Like, I have a professor that's like, can everyone try to raise their left hand for me? Exactly, there is no try, it's just do. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked, but my last tip for you guys is to end each and every day with gratitude. When you have gratitude and like just contentment, happiness, your cup is runneth over, that makes it that much easier for the universe to come on in and give you more things that make you grateful. So finding the gratitude in this present moment, whether it is a cup of coffee or, one second, Maybe it's a cup of tea. Maybe it's the warm bed you sleep in at night, or maybe it's just the fact that you were able to wake up early and watch the sunrise. No matter how little or how big your gratitude is, just make sure you root yourself in that positivity. <laughs> because when you start feeling grateful and feeling happy, that's when you're able to attract more things to you law of attraction like attracts like once you're kind of on that streak it keeps going like have you ever heard of a lucky streak that's because you keep winning and winning and winning and winning and winning and now you're a lucky girl and now you can never lose okay wow that was easy peasy easy breezy beautiful Easy, breezy, beautiful, cup of girl. <laughs> okay, so my camera died, but I still wanna finish this video, so. So to sum it up, to be a lucky girl, that means that you believe in your heart of hearts that absolutely everything in the universe is working out for your greatest good and for the greatest good of others. In order to be a lucky girl, you have to, number one, most importantly, start manifesting your dream life. Two, you have to let go of negative thoughts whenever you catch yourself thinking about something that's not so good, that's low vibrational, that's not putting you in your power. 
let it go. Check yourself and start thinking about something positive instead. And then last, but certainly, certainly, certainly not least, you have to cultivate gratitude. So finding even the tiniest, teeniest, tiniest little thing to be grateful for, find it. Identify it, revel in that feeling because a lucky girl truly embodies the law of attraction like attracts like. The happier you are, the more grateful you are, the more things, the good things that are gonna happen to you, they're just gonna expand on that gratefulness feeling that you have inside of you. I really enjoy using the five minute journal for my gratitude practice. There's a link to it down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. My name is Naka and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.